Bloody hell. It'll be the death of me, you will. Oh, on the sauce last night, were you? Oh, have you forgotten something? Pete. You never let me forget, will you? Say what? Mistakes. What are you talking about? No, they signed me off. What, did it give you time to find your baby? I was overtired. Well, no wonder. You take any shift they throw at you. And the more tired you get, the more Formula One you become. I've got a family and a new baby. It's not what you'd expect from one of our drivers. Sterling Moss has got nothing on you. My face should have been out of use. I can't legislate for... Hey! Where are you going? Sean! Have we got that order out? I can't remember. We were rushing. Oh, eh? Ali! Glove! Over here! Sean? Right, Ali. I'll take it back. The trolley. Oh, eh? Yeah. That all looked a bit intense. What was all that about? Oh, Ali, you've taken the trolley. What does he expect when I don't drive? Well, if you'd waited, I could have picked you up. Oh, so you bought my favourite. Emmental. You know, I love a bit of Swiss cheese. I'm meant to buy the Emmental. But that's a bloody habit. Ali, love, what's up? Why you, Pete? Why us? What? Two days before you were due to retire. Spend all those years serving school dinners, waiting for us both to retire so that you and I could travel, live the life. The cruise is all paid for, Ali. You know that. The, we're leaving in a couple of months. Eh? You and me, retired at last. Living the dream. Linda about to have the new baby. And Tom and Ella. You're gonna miss it all, haven't you? Ali. What's happened? I feel different. You said the dark traffic lights were out. You should have stopped the job. Ali. I don't know what I've done. But I do know that I love you. Since I first laid eyes on you, I've loved you. You're the best wife a man could ever want. I'm sorry, Pete. Right now, I need to be angry with you. Because I swear to you, if I start to cry, I will never stop. This little tryst, since when do my general manager and my dispatch supervisor meet up for a weekend coffee? Is it even the weekend? It's time to get to the bottom of this, methinks. All right, gentlemen. Room for a little one. So as you know, the health and safety executive are in. Yeah. The old time's very difficult. The grilling has begun. Are oh, we planning a barbecue? I thought our safe system was in place, Colin. I need to know from you if there are any shortcuts being made. As a dispatch supervisor, I need you to give me a snapshot of how we really do things. 
We've always followed procedures. You can't legislate for the human factor. Have I missed something? Have we, Colin? Have we always followed procedures? Well, are you looking for the official answer, Gary? I mean, is it the case that we could just as easily have got away with it? Yeah. I suppose you could say most of the time we do. Here was me thinking our last work's night out were bad. The questions they're asking are harder than I thought they would be, Colin. I might end up in jail. I should have known, Gary. The paperwork was handed back to Sean before the job was complete. The traffic lights in the dock bay were out. We should have put in more checks, briefed everyone. We were pushing people. People were tired, complacent. They were rushing. A perfect storm. I'm starting to think some shit has gone down here. <laughs> I can't sleep at night, Gary. I keep thinking about what I saw. And the rest of the people that were there that day were the same. I feel sick just thinking about it. And the noise, too. The sound that he made when the electric truck crushed him. I've never heard a sound like that. will never be the same again for any of us. I should have been a better safety officer. I should have seen that Sean was pushing himself too far. The benefit of hindsight. The holes in the Swiss cheese were aligned. I shouldn't have put the pressure on without knowing what your limits were. But my eye has to be on the bottom line. Gloom and doom. It's not as if anyone's died. He was such a fun guy too. Yeah, he was. Kept us all laughing. He did that. I've got a good one for you. What do you call a guy who's six foot under? Pete. Oh. You know it then. Poor guy. His daughter was just about to have her third. I know. Two days before he was due to retire. It's unbelievable. Hey, we'll, we'll need to make sure his wife's okay. Yeah. I saw on the path over there on the way here. Wait a moment, it, that was my wife. Uh, Ali? It's going to be a struggle for all of them. Well, what are you talking about? Tell me everything again, from the start. I need to know exactly how it happened. Well, Pete was using the electric truck to put the last pallet in the lorry, and Sean pulled off before he was ready. Now, wait a bloody minute here. Are you telling me? Linda? Linda, thank God. It's me, Dad. Linda? Can't you hear me? Tom, don't be rough with Ella. Tom? It's me. Gramps. Son? Son, why aren't you? Oh, my God. Someone did die. It's me. And none of you can see me. Or hear me. Linda, love. My wonderful daughter. I never got a chance to say goodbye, to say... I love you. I'm sorry I won't get a chance to meet the new... I won't get a chance to meet the new one. How can I say it all? There's no time. Tom? 
Tom. You won't forget me, will you? The footy moves I taught you. Can't hear me. You can't hear me. Be happy, Tom. That big order that came in, rushing. I was using the electric truck to put the last load on and it took off. The lorry, it took off. I fell, it landed on me. Then the pain, I couldn't fight it. I couldn't fight it. An accident. Weeks in the making. And then just like that. A normal day at work. And then that's it. That's all there is. It's over.